What's going on guys? Welcome to another luxury house tour and today we're going to be touring a 4,800 square foot luxury contemporary mega mansion in North Scottsdale in an exclusive gated community listed at right below $2.8 million. This is a four bedroom four and a half bathroom with a 700 square foot casita totaling just under 4,800 square feet. There's a ton of stuff this house has to offer from a 750 bottle wine room that is totally refrigerated to a swim up bar in the backyard. But without further ado, let's just go ahead and go inside and get started. So right here, we have a nice little courtyard, okay, as you kind of walk in, and this is just gorgeous. I mean, right when you get in here, it just feels exclusive. It feels private. It feels like a resort, quite literally, okay? So you can shut that gate, you can lock it. You're not gonna have anybody bothering you. Obviously, you have security cameras everywhere, but what a beautiful courtyard, okay? Uh, right over here, we actually have a separate casita, okay? That is totally separate from the house, and we'll check that out here in just a little while with a nice little fountain but let's just go ahead and get inside of the house. This is an entertainer's paradise. As you walk through a massive front door, you have a open concept vibe like you've never seen before, leading right out into the pool with literally a 12 or 14 foot pocket door that slides clear into the wall and you can't even tell there was ever a door there. This is truly an entertainer's dream, okay? When you walk in here, there is absolutely no party you can't throw. There is no gathering that you cannot host. You can invite your entire family over here and you can enjoy whatever activities you want. Now we're gonna go ahead and talk about the kitchen for a minute because that is what everybody wants to see, right? Ultimately, this is an entertainer's dream, okay? And what would you be if you weren't in the kitchen, okay? So here we are, and this is an island that I quite literally don't know I'm gonna be able to put into words for you, okay? I'm talking probably 14 foot long, five foot deep, and literally quartz countertops that waterfall on the edges. Just truly incredible and truly spectacular, okay? You stand in here, and honest and truly, I mean, it is just unbelievable. You've got 12 foot ceilings, surround sound throughout the entire home. You've got the exposed beams, okay? There's just nothing in here that you're missing, okay? So again, over here, uh, we've got the Wolf Top End Appliances, okay? We have a six burner gas grill with the griddle, of course, with obviously the overhead blower. So right behind me, we have beautiful custom cabinetry, okay? And I did mention all the quartz counters, but these are extremely top of the line cabinets. This is not something you see in every house. Obviously, you have these soft clothes, okay? And you've got these big, massive uh, handles on the cabinets, which is just really cool. And I really like the accent. I like the gray with the lights underneath, with this backsplash. It's almost like a little bit of an industrial look, but very contemporary at the same time with the contrasting quartz countertops in the back and obviously the slightly different color on the island. So right behind me, we have a massive refrigerator, Sub-Zero, of course, you'd expect nothing less than a house like this. Obviously, right next to the fridge, we have the microwave drawer, which is just incredible, okay? Uh, I can hardly ever figure out how to open and close it, but here you go, all you gotta do, take your food, put it inside. You guys have seen enough house tours by now. Let's go ahead and keep on going. All right, so after a year like 2020, there is absolutely nothing more important than having an office so you can work from home. And not only that, you're right off of the kitchen, okay? So if you happen to get home uh, from work a little bit early, if you are still going to your office, and you can come in here, you can check your email, you can finish up on your work while your potential wife is cooking you dinner, you can smell the aroma, okay, of that food, your favorite food, obviously. Uh, this is a beautiful office, okay? This is just incredible. You obviously have top of the line furniture. I believe this is Copenhagen furniture. It's just, just beautiful, okay? We obviously have a huge, huge, huge built-in, uh, I wanna call it a bookshelf, which I love, okay? I don't know about you, but I'm a big book guy, right? They say that successful people read a lot of books. So I decided to start reading a lot of books. Maybe one day we'll get there, of course, if you smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. So you can put all of your books on the bookshelf and let's go ahead 
and go check out the rest of the house. So right behind the breakfast bar on the massive island, okay, you have a dining table here. Now, obviously, this is just furniture that has been staged, uh, but this is actually a really unique idea because you really don't need, unless you're gonna put like a massive couch in here and that be more of like just a sitting area or a chill area, you don't need all of the open space, okay? So having a big dining table, and honestly, you could do an even bigger dining table, okay? So if you have a massive family, I mean, we could probably uh, have two of these dining tables in here, honestly. Then we could most likely fit 16 or 18 people right here to give you a little bit of an idea of how massive that the room is. Here we are in the living room, and I know that with the living room, with the family room, it just depends on what you're gonna do with it, right? So, you know, if you're buying a $2.8 million house, I don't know, I've toured a lot of luxury houses and I feel like people don't really utilize the living room like they think they're going to, but this is a gorgeous living room. This is one that you would definitely wanna utilize, especially when you're entertaining. You could watch the football games, the basketball games, you could watch whatever you want up here on the TV, have your fireplace going, and literally look right out to the backyard while people are out there hanging out, people are playing games, they're playing miniature golf, there are just so many cool things that you could do, so many cool ideas that I have kind of walking through here. And wow, again, this house is just breathtaking, okay? I would love to know what you think so far, but let's go ahead and check out the master bedroom. So on the way to the master bedroom, I figured we'd make a little pit stop, okay? And I figured we'd come over here right off of the kitchen and we would check out what I told you in the beginning of the video, which is a 750 bottle cooled, okay? Air conditioned wine cellar, okay? Now, this is just spectacular in my opinion because, you know, you can just hear literally the air up here, okay? You got, you got the temperature controlled room, which by the way, you can do remotely, okay? So, you know, if you're in Italy, uh, sipping a nice glass of wine and you wanna go ahead and make sure that your wine is just 100% perfect for when you get back, you can do it all 100% remotely. Now, let's just see if you can hear me inside of here, okay? Uh, you'll be able to hear me because I'm wearing a mic, but we're just gonna pretend. I'm just playing around, I wasn't really talking, because if I was, you'd have been able to hear me because I am wearing a mic, but I promise you, in real life, this is so airtight that you literally can't hear anybody if they were in there. Now, I don't know why somebody would be in there uh, and stuck, but okay, you wouldn't be able to hear them, so you wanna be careful of that. Now, right off over here, we've got what I would consider another potential dining room. Now, there are obviously multiple things that you could probably do in here, and definitely let me know what you would do in here, but you could definitely do a big dining room table. You could open up these doors accordion style, by the way, which is pretty neat, okay, if you haven't seen that. And you can sit right here at a 90 degree angle. You've got this view over here of the mountains. You've got that view of the mountains. You're looking right at the pool, right at this swim up bar. We've got miniature golf in the backyard. I mean, what more is there, okay? Literally, what more is there? You've got this exposed brick all along this entire wall going in to the wine cellar. This is just truly beautiful, okay? This is what you want, right? People come to North Scottsdale because they wanna go golfing. They wanna experience True North, right? You've got the True North Golf Club right around the corner. You've got the most high-end exclusive golf courses probably in the world, for sure in the country and definitely, okay, on the West Coast, okay? So this is what everybody wants. I mean, this is truly an entertainer's dream. Now let's go ahead and go check out the master bedroom. Here we are in the master bedroom. Now, a master bedroom is obviously a big deal, right? For anybody that is gonna drop $2.8 million on a piece of real estate, right? On a house, on a home, somewhere where they're gonna live, somewhere where they're gonna raise a family, you know, you need a little bit of peace and quiet. When you're done entertaining, you're done cooking, you're done having your guests over, you're done watching the game, you're done working, whatever it is, you need a nice place where you can lay your head at night and just be at peace. And this is honestly the place. You obviously have surround sound throughout the entire house, including the master bedroom, a beautiful chandelier hanging down. Um, obviously, you can put whatever kind of furniture in here you want and you have plenty of room, okay? All right, let's go ahead and check out the master bathroom. All of you ladies, you've been waiting for this, okay? You clicked on the video, you've been skipping through the video, you've just been waiting to see, dying to see the master bathroom. Here we are 
Okay, now this is gorgeous, okay? And there's a lot to kind of talk about in here. So we obviously have dual vanity. We're on separate sides of the tub, which is great, right? Because the last thing you wanna do is be standing next to your husband, next to your wife, and you're bumping elbows while you're trying to brush your teeth, okay? Nobody wants that. So you've got the bathtub in the middle. You've got this beautiful stone all the way up, okay? That matches and contrasts perfectly with the flooring right across from the shower, which is just huge, okay? This is a massive, massive walk-in shower. I mean, check this out. I mean, we've got a rain head, okay, from up top. We've got multiple jets in the wall. We've got the, the typical shower head right here with all of your different knobs. You've also got an entirely another one over here, okay? You can obviously sit down. Uh, you can shave your legs. You can put your freaking, uh, I'll, I'll rip my suit, but you can like go like this. You can shave, okay? For those of you guys wondering, I don't shave my legs, okay? Let's go check out the master closet. And on the way to do so, okay, we've got a gorgeous makeup area. Now, there's probably a name for this, so I apologize for all of you ladies out there, okay? Uh, I, I really do. I would love to know what the name of this is, but I'm just going to assume that this is where you've got all of your makeup, you've got all of your perfume, you just have everything right here to get ready to look beautiful, to look gorgeous, to go and conquer the day. Because that is what it's about, right? When you live in a house like this, you've gotta conquer every single day, right? Every day you've gotta wake up and you've gotta look your best, okay? You've gotta come in here into the custom cabinetry that matches the kitchen, that matches the laundry room, that matches everywhere, and you've gotta pick out your best outfit, right? Obviously, there's multiple places you can do that, right? There's multiple things. You've got a mirror here. You've got a massive mirror over there. Nothing compares to this, okay? You can put all of your stuff here. You've got watch drawers. You've got sock drawers. You've got everything you need in this closet. This is huge, by the way. I'm not sure that I can really even describe it, but let's go ahead and keep on going. So the master bedroom is totally separate from the rest of the house. It is on the entire opposite end, along with the garages and the laundry room, which actually works out perfect, as you guys know, right? You get home, you come through the garage, and what do you do? Well, you set all your stuff down, right? If you have kids, they throw their stuff in here. You've got kind of like a nice little, uh, kind of a mudroom area where you can get all of your stuff, you can put it away, you can do your thing. You've got your laundry room over here, which is actually really cool. I wanna show you something that I thought was really neat, okay? We have, now, Bear with me, I could be wrong on this, but I'm, I'm almost certain I'm right. This is where you wash your pets, okay? You come in here, you've got a dog, you've got a golden doodle, you've got a poodle, you've got a German Shepherd, whatever the case is, and you can literally get your dog in here. You can sit down while you rinse them off, while you get them cleaned, or maybe your kids. You know, this could be perfect. I don't know uh, really how all that works. I personally don't have kids. Maybe you would use a bathtub. Okay, I could be totally wrong there, but this is kind of cool, okay? This is kind of neat, and I think, I, I don't know about you guys, but I haven't seen this. And like, I, I've done a lot of house tours. I don't know that I've ever seen something like this in a laundry room. In just a minute, we're gonna check out the backyard, and the backyard is breathtaking, okay? But real quick, and by the way, we're running a little bit low on sunlight, and it is a cloudy day today, okay? Very rarely is it cloudy in Arizona, literally. 300 and like 40 days out of the year, it is sunny. This is a perfect theater room, a perfect game room, whatever you wanna do. You can come in here, you could put a pool table in here, you could put uh, one of the shuffle boards in here, you could put a big TV up there, you could do blackout curtains over here and blackout curtains over there, and you could make this a little theater room. I mean, literally, sky is the limit. Now, check this out, here's what's cool. You've got double doors going to the backyard right here, okay? So literally, double doors opening up to the backyard. You've got miniature golf, you've got croquet, you've got the grill, you have the swim up bar, you have everything, okay? Now on the opposite side, check this out, okay? You don't see this very often. Again, accordion doors, so we can get this all the way open, accordion style, and we've got a whole nother secluded area. I mean, this is just amazing. And you can come out here, you've got your cooler here, you've got some Fiji water, and you can light a fire. You've got all the vegetation, you've got the lights, and you can just 
relax. You can chill. You can read a book in the morning. You can drink a cup of coffee and just chill, okay? I personally think this is just amazing. Now let's go ahead and keep on going. So I don't wanna waste a lot more time. I wanna show you the backyard because the backyard is impressive, okay? So on this side of the house, you've got a couple of guest bedrooms over here. They both have walk-in closets. They both have their own bathroom. And you would expect nothing less if you're paying $2.8 million. Let's go check out the backyard. You walk out into the backyard and it is just gorgeous. Even on a cloudy day, you've got a pool that is literally 30 feet long it waterfalls, okay, we've got a waterfall. I know I said a little while ago, but we have a waterfall coming down from the Ramada into the pool, okay? This is not something you see every day. This is just beautiful, okay? Check this out. Uh, you step down here, the, wa the, the pool literally flows over uh, in between the pool and the edging, and it obviously is just recirculating the water, okay? Just beautiful, basically like an infinity edge pool, and I mean, it doesn't get any better than this, okay? Walk down here, we walk down one more time, and look guys, on the back end, this right here is a swim up bar. How often do you get a swim up bar in a luxury private residence? It's like a resort, okay? Look at down here. We literally have the waterfall coming over the pool underneath of the bar, okay? The swim up bar is literally right here. There's one, two, three, four, five total seats. You can sit down, you can chill, and the water goes underneath, down, and recirculates into the pool. I mean, this is just amazing. Okay, now check this out. We've got built-in heaters below, underneath here. Okay, we have a heater there, and we've got two heaters right behind uh, where you're at right now. We've got a TV, a ton of patio furniture, and check this out. I mean, literally an entertainer's dream, okay? I don't even know what half of this stuff does. I would love to know if you know, okay? But we've probably got a warmer right here. Right here we've got our trash. We have a recycle and our trash, okay? Uh, right here we have another uh, grill, okay? Another cooktop. This is probably for, what would this be for? Let me know what this is used for, okay? I would love to know. And then right behind me, we have a flat iron grill, okay? This is not something you see very often. I mean, I don't know what you would cook on that thing, okay? But let me know, look at this freaking thing. This thing is heavy, okay? I mean, I've been to Mexico a couple times. I've eaten some El Paso stores, like some really, really good meat. And I'm telling you, you could probably cook some really amazing food on that thing. You could entertain out here. You could have people sitting there during the summertime. Come on. And if all of that wasn't good enough, now we have croquet in your backyard and we've got a little putt-putt, okay? A little bit of miniature golf right behind me, okay? So, uh, guys, I don't know what else to tell you other than for $2.8 million, you can get a four bedroom, four and a half bathroom with a detached 700 square foot casita that we haven't even looked at yet with literally an entertainer's dream in the backyard, a four car garage, uh, what 750 bottle refrigerated wine cellar, okay? This is unbelievable. This is incredible. Let me know what you think. We'll check out the casita real quick and then we'll wrap it up. Here we are back in the courtyard where we first started and right over here, we have a separate detached casita, okay? Now, this is obviously something that you would expect in a house like this, but I don't think you would expect it to be quite this nice, okay? Uh, you're gonna see the same exact custom finishes that we saw inside of the house, right? All of the same flooring, all of the same uh, level of fixtures, such as chandeliers, appliances, everything you could possibly imagine from the security system to the dimmed lighting, everything, okay? We've got a living room, and this is big, okay? We're talking a 700 square foot custom casita with a kitchenette behind me. Now this is pretty darn cool, I don't know about you, but we have a sink, we have a microwave, we have a refrigerator, again, all custom, okay? 100% custom, same custom cabinetry, same custom stone we saw in the wine cellar and on that wall when we were inside of the house, same flooring. I mean, guys, we have a kitchen, I mean, this is just, this is beautiful, okay? And then in here, 
We've got a massive bedroom. You wouldn't expect this in a guest bedroom, okay? This is a queen sized bed with two full nightstands. We've got a walk-in closet. Come check this out. We've got a, I mean, the, the builder, okay? The, the owner, the current owner of this house spared no expense. And normally I wouldn't take you into the closet in a casita, but check this out. This is the same custom cabinetry that we saw all throughout the main house in the closet in the casita. That will show you the precision that the current owner had when designing and when building the house. We obviously have a full bathroom with the same cabinetry again, a beautiful walk-in shower. There's not a lot more to say. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching the video. Also, thank you so much to Sharon Barrett. This is her listing. She's with HomeSmart. I'll put all of her information right here, and I'll also put all of her information down below. If you have any interest in this house or you have any interest in general, feel free to reach out to her. She would love to help you. So thank you so much for letting us do this, and thank you for watching the video. Let me know down below what you liked about the house, what you didn't like. I would love to know, and I'm gonna be doing a lot more luxury house tours. My name is Austin Zabak. Thank you so much for watching the video and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one.